So there's a lot of commercial supplements out there that claim to boost growth hormone levels. Is there anything to any of them? Literature speaking, there might be some support for arginine, interesting melatonin, uh, beta alanine. The melatonin kind of makes sense, right? Because you have more melatonin when you're sleeping. And so, yeah. Yes. And so these are our potentials. So some of these amino acids. Yes. Like you said, arginine. Arginine, beta alanine, okay. and melatonin. All right. So good sleep, maybe a little extra melatonin to ensure good sleep, um, making sure you're getting a robust amount of the right amino acids. Amino acids are needed to build, you know, the muscle and the protein. The amount of free floating amino acids after exercise is what the ribosomes floating in the blood is what the muscle ribosomes pick up to build them to build themselves up in muscle mass after exercise. So when when people exercise, the muscles are looking for amino acids in the blood to incorporate in their ribosomes and then create more muscle. So it sounds like there's a lot of things people can be doing other than taking um, illegal growth hormone injections. Indeed, and I wouldn't recommend it.